so far so good guys uh, now the next thing that we have to do is to set up our uh, sales info directory because if we don't set up okay we are going to have some uh, exception here um, while trying to creating this bin in that order I just created here on my laptop okay um, as you can see here I have just cre create um, a folder as we can see um, a folder where I just move you remember we were processing this file okay so I just create a new folder on my desktop on this uh, path and I move the 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 file there okay so once again print uh, print work directory and I have it here okay so this is this gonna be the sales info directory okay and I set up like this so uh, on this directory this is the place okay where we are going to poll for files okay and this is the place where we are going to see if once we are processing and uh, the file it's gonna be uh, renamed okay let's go the next thing that we have to do is telling like spring batch okay to not start uh, once uh, the application is up okay uh, spring batch uh, job enable okay by default it's true okay and we are going to set it uh, to be false because uh, we are telling spring batch okay spring batch don't 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 start don't start okay uh, the, the batch processing um, after the the, cont the the context is is up okay so um, now we have just to to make some uh, changes okay here on our spring batch application so as we can see we still uh, reading uh, on the path that we set there hard coded it's not something that we want right so what we we are expecting here is to uh, set up a directory okay because we sometime we we are going to to process another kind of file okay but respecting the same format so we have to 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 make it uh, in a way okay uh, where spring can read uh, files from uh, a specific directory so we, we we are going to rely on spring batch integration this one that we create here so this guy spring batch integration is going to launch okay the spring batch job okay and set up the file and all those uh, requirements necessary to, to run a job so in that order we just need to here uh, add no, not Lombok one be careful guys don't use the Lombok one here it should be uh, the spring uh, framework annotation okay not the Lombok and then we use the spring expression uh, which consists on okay hash okay and then we need to specify okay job parameter parameters okay and do you remember guys here on our job parameter let's go back file message to job request if we go back we are specifying okay job parameters okay add string so we are going to take okay this name so we are going to take the file name okay file that uh, input that file that name okay so this is what we are taking here job parameters this one okay and then we can just say it okay it's a string let's say um, resource or file in whatever you uh, uh, you want okay and then and then here we don't use it anymore so we specify here new maybe file system yeah resource okay and then we we, we pass 
the resource okay so this is the way that we read so as as, as you remember guys we are uh, relying on on spring uh, integration to run this job okay so um, but before moving we have to say okay um, it's not a common bin anymore okay it has to have this uh, step uh, scope okay and here we are having uh, okay it's complaining so let's just remove it from here okay and let's say that our step uh, in our case gonna receive an item uh, reader um, which um, reads the sales info okay and let's call it by um, sales info DTO item reader so and then once we pass it as argument okay then we just need to use it here as sales info item reader okay and this is the way that we do that and going up our job is complaining also because it's expecting some argument here okay so we are going to do the same as we did here uh, as we did here on our step so we are going to tell okay uh, job gonna receive a step okay and the name of step it's going going to be this one okay we are receiving the step called from file into db so just remove this one and set the from file into db okay and this is this is the way that we can do that okay we just uh, made some changes on our job keep in mind okay and as I explain here, try to navigate, see how the stuff works, and let's uh, see what we can do next. Mm, and next, uh, we understood that this file here, I uh, hard coded, is not need anymore. Okay, we don't need it anymore. So let's just delete it. We don't need it because we are start reading from can you see directory i didn't specify the file here because we are going to poll okay uh we are going to to, to pull some files okay from a directory uh, uh using spring batch integration this is what we are trying to achieve here and now let's uh try to to, to test okay our application let's run it okay we got here okay actually uh the the correct way in order to to retrieve uh the job parameter uh, using the spring expression uh we have to add here like the single quote okay so this is the correct way like to retrieve the job parameter the job parameter that we specified okay here when we uh, were like transforming the the message okay into job request so having it now let's run our application okay in order to see how that spring how does spring batch and spring integration work together but before that here on my folder we are going to to put it here okay and we are going to to see once i run the application the pasqual store that csv gonna change its name or one of this file okay will be uh, will be processing so it's gonna have a new extension uh, concatenated here so let's see let's put it here we have launched our application let's see so it's processing now 
okay so as we can see it picks this file okay pasqual store that uh, processing and it's processing there as we can see we can just um, go to our database okay and let me refresh here refresh here example if we check the job params okay let's just query it select all from uh, job params we're going to see okay so we have here the first job is running okay and as we can see the file uh, the job param has a file that name okay which is the name of the file that we are processing okay and it's great it's great so we are not relying on the hard-coded um, file here so we are pulling the direct uh, the, uh, the directories okay using um, the spring integration uh, spring batch integration it's it's amazing let's go back and let's check if it's processing another file okay let's see still processing um, the first one okay once it start processing uh, the second one it's gonna change let's just keep it like that and we can go to our database once again and for example select all from uh sales yeah sales info okay let put a limit 10 okay let's select and here yeah and here we can see it's processing okay it's processing and we can just maybe uh batch execution okay we can just select here batch execution and we can see okay it's still it's uh, the status is started okay and we don't know yet because it's still processing and uh, yeah this is very nice very nice thing that you we can achieve using the spring batch integration okay using the spring batch integration um yeah in order to achieve the file polling it's it's very nice it's very nice um maybe let's go back to our intellij let's check here it's still processing so guys uh, thank you for watching and please uh, subscribe and give a thumbs up okay because uh, i really need that and i like to, to share my knowledge i'm still uh, i'm still learning also all these stuffs so uh just if you have any other questions suggestion for a video just let me know for example we could just do something very nice for example after processing this file okay we can move to another directory called example processed uh, or if the file uh, finish with error we could move to another directory error so uh, all those stuffs that in enterprise solution we have been applied so we can we can just uh, try to implement here also okay and so thank you for watching and i will be back once uh we start processing the other files okay so thank you